NCIS has been on our screens for a long time. Since 2003, when the first episode was released, there have been 19 seasons of pure entertainment. Although the show has lost most of its famous cast, the rest of the cast has managed to keep viewers hooked as they solve intriguing crimes. In this video, we'll be recommending some amazing shows that are good enough to take the place of NCIS in your heart. Stay tuned so that you don't miss a thing. First up, SEAL Team. If you enjoyed the Navy theme of the NCIS show, then you are in for an enjoyable experience in the SEAL Team series. Aside from the intriguing and entertaining drama that has all its viewers glued to the screen, the show will provide you with a realistic experience of how Navy SEALs train, plan, and execute the most dangerous and high-stakes missions. All the members of the cast have exciting backgrounds that make viewers connect to them. The leader of the Tier 1 team is Jason Hayes, a respected and intense leader with a miserable home life. Like most soldiers, his extensive battle experience has made it impossible for him to settle as a normal family man. Sonny Quinn is another soldier who also battles with his demons, but aside from that, he is an exceptional soldier loyal to his squad. There's Ray Perry, who is Jason's closest companion, and finally Clay Spencer, who has a strong dedication to the Navy SEAL even though he is young and regarded as a second generation SEAL. The show is not your regular crime series where there's just a new bad guy in every episode. Instead, this military drama series offers viewers a taste of hot action while connecting with them emotionally. Well, We've already said enough. On to the next show. Next up, we have Line of Duty. I haven't watched a lot of British crime movies, but this one deserves all the praises it gets. Even IMDb agrees with me because it rates the movie an 8.7 over 10, which is really amazing. The show revolves around the life of Detective Sergeant Stephen Arna. Everything goes awfully bad for him after a failed operation he led to catch an Islamic terrorist intending to detonate a bomb. Unfortunately, his team entered the wrong house and shot an innocent man. Arna, who who is an authorized firearms officer, takes all the blame and is transferred to AC-12, a unit tasked with uncovering police corruption. When dirty police officers are involved, then you know things are going to be interesting. Arnett's partner for this task is Detective Constable Catherine Kate Fleming. She is also a skilled operative with experience in undercover missions. The series is filled with a lot of investigation and drama to uncover the crimes of so-called maintainers of the law. AC-12 is bombarded with different cases throughout the series involving different corrupt officers. As the team takes down the officers one at a time, it soon becomes clear that they are crossing into a territory of chilling corruption, including deep-rooted links between the police and an organized crime group. These officers have ties with a group involved in drug running, prostitution, child exploitation, and people trafficking, and they all earn lots of money. So you can understand that they wouldn't go down without a fight. Be sure to check this one out. Then we have Blue Bloods. This series deserved a spot on my list because of its perfect symbol symphony of drama and crime. Although the show has been around for a while, you might not have noticed since you were too engrossed in NCIS. However, I can assure you that Blue Bloods will provide you with the same satisfaction or even more. The show is about a fictional Catholic family with the entire family involved with the NYPD. So, work and family dramas are the same in CBS's Blue Bloods. The show gained some popularity after it got the approval of the Catholic Church for its perfect representation of a good Catholic family. Frank, the father in the Reagan family is a police commissioner. One of his sons, Danny, works as a detective, while the other, Jamie, works as a police sergeant. The daughter is the only one who did not seem interested in carrying a badge to fight crime. Instead, she became a district attorney. So I guess the entire family fights crime in more than one way. The show offers viewers the different perspectives by which crime is curtailed by law enforcement. One memorable thing about every episode happens at the end. The Blue Bloods get together for Sunday dinner and discuss all their experiences in the past week. However, the family is not perfect, which is one of the most engaging aspects of the series. And then we have The Blacklist. Blacklist is one of the most entertaining crime shows, and I know most viewers will agree with me. It came with a new concept that was totally different from what we were used to in normal crime series. In the series, one of the most wanted fugitives in the world surprisingly surrenders to the FBI. As shocking as it is to finally have a top criminal in their grasp without doing a thing, the criminal, Raymond Red Redding explains to them that he's going to assist them in apprehending other top criminals. His sole condition is that he will work only with the new profiler, Elizabeth Keene, because the information he had about other criminals was very valuable and would increase their chances of capturing these deadly criminals. The FBI granted him his request and even offered him immunity. All the information he had about some of the most dangerous criminals in the world was kept on a blacklist with top secret information. The reason why he decided to work with Elizabeth Keene and 
why he decided to give himself up to the FBI are all revealed in the show, and it's pretty mind-blowing. Raymond Reddington is one of the most intelligent criminals in the crime genre, so you are definitely going to enjoy every bit of this series. Next is Chicago PD. If you are truly a lover of crime shows, there's no way that you have not heard about this series. For those who do not know this series, it is a spin-off of the hit series Chicago Fire. Although it does not offer any special concept, it is an entertaining show that you can binge watch. The show revolves around Detective Sergeant Hank Voigt, who is at war with a crime in Chicago PD. The multiple Emmy award-winning executive producer Dick Wolf did an amazing job of producing a masterpiece of a crime show with exciting drama. The Chicago PD combats heinous crimes in the city by going after top crime organizations involved in drug trafficking, high-profile murders, and beyond. The team is composed of individuals who share the same passion for crime fighting as their leader, Void. The team is made up of a level-headed and by-the-book detective named Antonio Dawson, an ex-soldier with combat experience from the Middle East, Jay Halstead, and a former bad girl whose life was reformed by Void, Aaron Lindsay. There are other characters who are beneficial to the team's success. As I earlier said, the show doesn't exactly offer any new concepts, but it will definitely keep you hooked to your screen with the blazing action and intense drama. Lastly, LA's Finest. The Bad Boys franchise was very entertaining and memorable for all its viewers, and it seems its spin-off had the same effect on viewers. Although it is different mainly because the show is all about girl power, it is a pretty nice series to check out after watching NCIS. Gabrielle Union, Special Agent Sidney Sid Burnett, who is the main character in the series, partners with Jessica Alba, Detective Lieutenant Dolores Nancy McKenna. Nancy has a criminal past, so she knows how they think, and this provides her with an advantage as she decides to catch bad guys. Normally, I'm not a fan of where the theme is all about girl power. I enjoy interesting plot twists and thrilling action, and LA's Finest was able to offer that. For their first assignment, after becoming partners in the LAPD, they both have to protect a young boy who the violent drug cartel wants to hurt. However, the relationship between the two women becomes complicated when the criminal who once tortured Sid ends up being an old friend of Nancy's. Nonetheless, as partners, they have to work together to solve cases and catch criminals. All you could ever want in a good crime series are present in LA's finest. Whether or not it is better than NCIS is up to you to decide. These shows are ranked in any particular order because we understand that viewers have different preferences. These suggestions have been made based on the choices of a majority of viewers and their IMDb ratings, so be sure to check them out. Well guys, we have come to the end of another video. If you have any questions for us or you think that there's a show that is supposed to be on our list, leave your thoughts in the comments section and we'll definitely get back to you.